How's it going today guys? MCA back again. Today I want to show you how to take apart this projector and we're going to be removing the dichroic lens that's inside. It's a X cube or prism. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to use this thing in a few laser experiments I'm going to be doing. So uh, yeah basically we just take the case off, take all the screws out of the bottom. Here we're removing the motherboard. Here's the lens and the uh, prism is right here in the back or the wires. You can see the little ribbons that hook onto it. So I want to get this channel out that uh, where the light goes through. It actually has some light filters that only let certain colors of light through. Uh, it'll reflect red light one direction, blue light another direction, green light another direction. So pretty neat little thing you can use. Uh, I'm going to use that in some experiments later in some videos and uh yeah let's get this thing apart here we're taking out the power supply it's just basically remove a bunch of screws pull off a few ca uh, cables ribbons and get down to the bare bones yeah this projector was a three lcd projector that means there's three different color of lcds that go into the prism and they come out the front lens and uh, that's what you project up onto your wall so if you if you want to get one of these um, you can buy the x cube by itself if you get one that's non-flawed they're pretty expensive i bought this broken projector for five dollars and i think i paid 12 or 15 dollars shipping so less than 20 bucks uh, and i'm going to get a prism out of this it's worth probably 60 or 70 dollars so it's a it's a good way to get them if you want to take the time to take one out or you can just buy it okay here this is the light assembly this is the uh, channel where the light goes through and you can see here how it reflects green light one way blue light red light so each one of these little light filters is going to be used in some later experiments I'll be showing you guys okay, and here we're trying to get the uh, the X cube out of its mounting bracket this one's actually got some little uh, pieces of plastic melted onto the ends that hold it in its casing so it really can't be removed unless you break the tabs off so that's what I'm doing here so we get those tabs off we're going to get this cube out and start shining some light through it see what we can do with it and I'll be making uh, some good use of this later so you know check back watch uh, watch the videos I'm going to have some right now I've got about 15 of these but this is one of the better ones. This is a, a perfectly unflawed, and it's about a one inch by one inch cube. So we're going to put this through some good use. You can see the size of the regular ones I've, get, I've gotten before. And here I'm just shining my cell phone light through it just to give an example of what it does. So, uh, you know, this is a cheap way to get you a really good X cube. If you, uh, if you can find a broken projector, a three LCD uh, those are the way to go that's the ones that's got this this particular prism inside of it and it's a dichroic x cube here you go this is a good picture of it now this is a video of a guy doing an experiment with it i like this i just want to use it as a demonstration you can see how it sends light each direction and this is kind of uh what i've got in mind some of the things we're going to be doing with these uh, green light passes straight through the red light goes in it turns a 90 and a blue light will turn a 90 So I should be able to combine some different beams from different lasers into a solid beam. So there you go You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment